the Naugatuck River. Does anything live in there? Got one. All right. That kind of aggression really caught me off guard. Oh, guys, this is a nice one. This is a nice one, guys. Oh, my gosh. You know, I can't even count the number of times that folks have asked me where they can find smallmouth bass on a river in Connecticut. And the fact of the matter is, you can find smallmouth bass just about in any decent sized river in Connecticut. Even rivers that become inhospitable for trout fairly early on in the year. Smallmouth bass can tolerate those conditions. In fact, they can thrive in those conditions. But for my own part, since I live in Western Connecticut, I tend to mention two rivers. One of those rivers is a pretty obvious one, the Housatonic. I mean, let's face it, everybody knows there's nice smallies in the Housatonic. But the other tends to throw people for a loop. And that river is the Naugatuck. Yeah, you know, when I tell people that, I very often get a reaction of disbelief. The Naugatuck River, does anything live in there? Well, let me tell you guys, not only do things definitely live in the Naugatuck River, but there are some fine smallmouth bass in this river. But listen, you don't just have to take my word for it, because today I'm going to prove it to you guys. I'm going to take you along on a trip to the Naugatuck, fly fishing for some smallmouth bass. Central Naugatuck in an urban section of the river. I'm going to show you, I'm going to prove to you that this is a heavily underutilized smallmouth fishery and one that might just be worth your time if you're in the area. So let's get going. We're rigged up here. Now I tied up this cool little zonker streamer last night. Nothing really uh, earth shattering here. I mean it's basically just a zonker streamer, lead dumbbell eyes, polar chenille for the underbody and then some ice dub for the nose. But uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Looks like a pretty neat pattern. I kind of wish I had time to tie them up in a few different colors, but Olive will have to do. I also have some black woolly buggers I've tied up for today um, with hooks that have a slightly larger hook gap because I find that tends to work better for smallmouth bass. And um, I guess it's really just down to taking my last swig of coffee here before I bid it farewell and head out to the river. <sighs> Duncan. Here we are. To be perfectly honest with you, this is a pretty unremarkable stretch of the Naugatuck River, guys. I don't want you getting the impression that I've cherry-picked this spot because it's extraordinary. This is pretty typical of the central stretches of the Naugatuck. Just about any place you can find where you can legally access the river is going to be not unlike this. All right, well, let's put some of our first casts out here. That was an ugly cast. <laughs> the streamer has great action. You know, it's hard to beat a Zonker streamer for smallmouth bass. Okay, not too much action right off the bat on the Olive Zonker streamer. So I'm gonna switch over to a black woolly bugger. Has a little bit of a smaller profile. Doesn't sink quite as fast and is a different color. And we're gonna see if maybe the fish are just feeling picky this morning. And this is the ticket. All right guys, well, nothing in that pool. In my own experience, this time of year, 
the smallmouth bass in this section of the river tend generally to turn on somewhere in the range of 9, 10 a.m. Usually not within an hour of dawn, which is pretty much about where we're at right now, I believe. Maybe an hour and a half after dawn. So it may be that we can come back to that pool a little bit later and pull out a fish. But for right now, it doesn't seem like they're just in hitting any of these streamers. But I'm not gonna lie guys, this is a pretty slow start. I did anticipate this because like I said, my experience is that this section of the river generally doesn't turn on uh, until later in the morning. But yeah, definitely a slow start. We got the heavier zonker stream to tie down here. Okay, well, I don't know if you guys just saw that, but I was actually, I was about to move spots and I just let the streamer sort of dangle out there and we hooked the fish, uh, which promptly got off because I wasn't even paying attention. But uh, yeah, so that would have been the first fish of the day. This is a great time to mention that uh, I once read the advice that whenever you're on the river, uh, if, if conditions and, and structure permit, you should always leave your fly in the water while you're moving or walking or, or whatever uh, because you'll actually get a take every now and then. Sometimes you'll actually get a nice fish. This was a perfect example of that and it's not the first time it's happened to me. I have had instances in the past, for example, on the Scantic River last year where I was, I literally had the rod tucked under my arm like this. I had a woolly bugger trailing in the current about 30 feet downstream and had a 17 inch rainbow absolutely smash it and i landed that fish caught it almost completely accidentally uh, while i was texting on my phone i was texting my wife so yeah always leave your fly in the water because you will get fish that will take you'll be surprised anyway back to trying to catch fish on purpose i'll tell you what guys i've been walking on a stretch of the river here for like 500 feet where the water has scarcely been more than six inches deep. It does look like we're coming up on a slightly deeper area over here where these rapids empty out into this pool here. Got one. Let's try to get this one in this time, huh? What do you say? <laughs> Not a big fish, but it does seem, oh. are you shitting me? It's a freaking bluegill. Well, clearly not shy. Hit that black woolly bugger. And I mean, choked it too. It's a good hook set. He wasn't getting away. But bluegill are not our target species today. All right, buddy. Got one. Oh, is this another bluegill? Oh, that's a smallie. Not a big one. So there you go, guys. A genuine Nagatuck River smallmouth. And I'm not gonna lie, you know, you come out here and fish smallmouth enough in the Nagatuck, you're gonna catch a lot this size. There are big ones. There's really big ones. I'm hoping I can show a bigger one to you today. But, this is what we got for now. Still a beautiful little smallie nonetheless. All right guys, well, I mean, at least we finally got a smallmouth in. It's taken way too much time to make that happen this morning. 
But again, like I said, the smallmouth in this section of the river tend to turn on late. And in fact, I have been out here for probably an hour and a half. Oop, I just had a strike out there. Once again, kind of doing a trout set. It's, I'll tell you what guys, it's really tough sometimes for me to switch my mind over. Got him. Oh, did I get him? Oh, I did get him. Boy, he went limp the moment I set the hook on him. I did get the strip set there. Oh, he went limp because he's a, he's a sunfish. <laughs> okay, buddy, trying to let you go here. You are not the star of this show. Okay, for the love of God. There we go. Oh wow, look at the acrobatics on that fish, huh? <laughs> Once again, this is not a big smallmouth. But even the little ones just go absolutely bonkers. I mean, that's pretty cool, guys. You can't go wrong with that. That's fun even if they're small. I mean, there you go. That is not a very big smallmouth bass at all. But boy, just explosive energy on this fish. Yeah, guys, you know, those kinds of acrobatics, you know, I mean, they're fun in the small fish. That's what makes the small fish fun, in spite of being small fish. But I'll tell you what, the big ones are just as energetic. And so when you do get into a big one, I'll tell you what, it can be heart pounding. <laughs> Ooh, something just ran with it. A little slow in the hook set, I have a feeling. Oh, there we go. Boy, this fish ran with it. A little smally, not a big fish at all. But again, they have uh, twice the heart of most fish their size. They are beating up this woolly bugger too. It just happens to be a really deep shadow from the bridge covering that one area. Which just makes it look so juicy. Let's try, right? underneath this log over there. Let's get it right up there. I mean, right at the log. I'm really risking losing my streamer at this point. Oh, there we go. Dropped it right there. Okay. Well, I knew there had to be a fish there. Whoa! And we lost him. it up, pulled it right out of its mouth. There we go. Another smallie? Well, I mean, am I proving yet that there's definitely smallies here, guys? I mean, sure. You haven't seen me catch anything really sizable right now, but let's face, face the facts here, guys. It can't always be about the huge fish. I mean, I don't know. I guess it can be. If that's really your deal, if your deal is nothing but big fish, then yeah, I don't know. I mean, depending on how patient you are, maybe the Naugatuck is not the river for you because you're going to get a lot of these smaller fish. Oh, no. That fish just ripped my streamer off. Oh, farewell, woolly bugger. Farewell. Well, I just so happened to have one more bullethead black woolly bugger. Guys, I'll tell you what, they're grabbing it so fast. Running with it for a moment and then just dropping it. I have like a split second to try to strike. There we go. Smaller fish. Finally got one of them. There's definitely bigger ones down there. Let's get it right back out there. It is deep underneath the uh, trees there underneath that big log. There's a little smally. Come 
Come on, there's gotta be a big one down there somewhere. There's gotta be. You know what, let's cast right up under the bridge here. Oh, that fish took violently. I thought that had a chance of being a bigger one. But nope, just another one of these little guys with quadruple the fight for his size. All right, guys. Well, I think I have demonstrated conclusively that there's a ton of smallmouth bass in here, except today it seems we've only been able to get the small ones. So in an effort to try to rummage through these fish and find a bigger one for you, I'm gonna take off this smaller streamer and put something on that's a little more meaty and see if we can avoid some of these tinier fish and get into some of the bigger ones. All right, well, we're not gonna be using the woolly bugger side. Here, we got all kinds of neat stuff. Look at this big zonker streamer, guys. Pretty cool, right? A little larger. Let's put that on, see what we could do. Let it really sink down there. Sink in, sink in, sink in. It's pulling down that floating line. Oh, we got one. It's a nicer fish. All right, all right. This is not a huge bass, guys, but it's definitely the biggest one of the morning, no question about it. No question. Look at that, guys. This is a section of the river that I've never fished before. This is new territory for me. And I'm looking around here and I'm seeing, I don't know, at least a good six, 700 feet downstream, nothing but exceptionally shallow water. And I'm really wondering if it's worth the walk uh, nothing more than a hope that there's something nice down there to cast to. It's about 9.30 right now. It's actually prime time. But you see what I'm dealing with here. It's so hard to tell how deep this water is. Oh my gosh, did you see that? I just literally just flipped my streamer out to get ready to cast. Wow. This is a fish to rival the last big one we got, guys. I got that take right in front of me. Let's see if there's any other fish sitting here right in front of me. Oh, wow, I don't know if you guys saw that. He just sent a shockwave through the line. Holy mackerel. God, I keep missing that hit. Oh, he did it again. Oh God, this is just tragedy. I'll tell you what guys, that kind of aggression really caught me off guard. It's just not been the temperament of these fish during the earlier part of the day, but clearly I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna have to be ready. Oh, we got one. I'm gonna have to be ready for these fish. Okay, I just lost, oh my gosh. Guys, I'd lost that fish out there. My line whipped around, landed over here, and another fish grabbed it before I could even lift it up. I cannot believe the aggression of the fish in this pool. There's no target spot where it seems that they're congregating. It's just all over this pool. I'm so curious to know how deep this pool is. Oh, Lord! I just saw a fish about two feet in front of me. Come Another one! What? They're like two feet in front of me. Holy sh... Look at this, guys. I'm literally flopping this over right in front of me. And these fish are coming out of nowhere. That's a decent sized smallie right there. Oh, guys. This is insane. Got one. All right. 
Not a big one. But we're keeping the line tight here. Oh, fish swirled out there. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Got him. There we go. This is a nice one. This is a nice one, guys. Oh my gosh, that's a nice fish. That is a nice one. Oh man, do I take him to the reel or do I try to muscle him in? That's a nice one. Oh no, don't want to lose this fish. Don't want to lose this fish. There we go, okay. Yeah, that's a nice one. This is the nicest one of the day, guys. No question about it. No question about it. This is a fish I've been looking for. Oh boy. I don't have my drag dialed in well enough. Okay. I think I got the drag dialed in finally. He makes a big run. It should let go. This is a nice fish. Nice fish. We got him, what a beautiful smallie, all right. There we go, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Naugatuck River smallmouth bass. You can't go wrong with a fish like that. Just gorgeous. Well, how about that, guys? That was the kind of smallmouth that I was out here trying to get. You know, was it a massive fish? Was it one of those hoozy four pounders? No, of course it wasn't. But that is one hell of a smallmouth for the Naugatuck River the central stretches, urban environment. Who ever said that there are no smallies here? I mean, come on guys, <laughs> cannot go wrong with a fish like that. But we're not over just yet. Let's see if we can get another couple fish out of here. I kind of doubt we're gonna be able to top a fish like that. You're gonna go to that bridge over there. So I'm gonna keep on fishing this area all the way down to that bridge and we'll see what else we can dig up. But boy, if that did not make the outing for me, that's pretty close to the biggest smallie that I've caught on the Naugatuck before. I mean, I've caught bigger smallies elsewhere, but for the Naugatuck, that is an absolute quality fish. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's some depth right there. Drops off real quick at that bridge abutment. So there's probably a ton of debris over there that threatens to make me lose this streamer. And I'll tell you what, I really don't want to lose this streamer. But the prospect Got one! It's a nice one! Oh, it's a nice one! It's a nice one! Yes, it's a nice one, guys! Nice fish! Nice fish! I haven't really seen it yet. I've just seen some flashes of it. I'm really worried about it getting up into all the debris under the bridge over there. fish. Is this snagged? I might have accidentally snagged this fish on the hook set. Yes, I did. I snagged it. So this fish is probably not as big as I thought it was. Nowhere near as large as that other smaller we got, but unfortunately this guy must have swiped at it in that deep water. Turned away from it right quick and managed to get this hook snagged in his tail. Decent one. Well guys, I think we're gonna call it. I just went back up through that area that was really, really productive only about 45 minutes ago. And um, not nearly as much action. I mean, of course, they're probably getting a little skittish at this point. But the fact of the matter is, I've run out of time. And truth be told, I ran out of time probably like an hour ago. But so where does this leave us, guys? I mean, 
come on. Have I made my case that there's some smallies in the Nagatok? <laughs> now, I have a feeling that there's probably going to be some folks that want to go. Hey man, tell me where you were. Where is that spot you were at? I want to fish it. Well, guys, you know that's not really how I do things in this channel. But here's the thing. I don't know how to be any more sincere when I say this, guys. The whole central Naugatuck is like this. I, I, I swear to you, there is no need to go try to hunt down the spots you saw me fishing today. I promise you, they are no more productive than the spots that you will find just about wherever you dunk your feet in this river. This river is absolutely loaded with a robust population of smallmouth bass very much underappreciated because people just assume nothing lives in here, but hopefully this video proved to you today that something most definitely does live in the Nagatuck. In spite of all the pollution, in spite of all the trash that ends up in this river, nature is resilient, folks. And these smallmouth bass, well, they have more than enough heart to prevail in spite of just about anything people might throw at this river. That being said, let's keep our fingers crossed that we find ways to treat this river better and better as time goes on because it needs a lot of work, guys. But I'm gonna wrap it up here before I end up busting my ass on these, these rocks and because I need to get a move on, so I need to stop talking to the camera. This has been another episode of Connecticut Angler. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you like what I'm doing out here. And I'll catch you guys next time.